All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this reading here is for my Pisces zodiac sign. This is a quick reading, just seeing what the energy of you and surrounding energy will be. Uh, before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please put the energies that best resonate with you. Let's go ahead and start off with your overall energy, Pisces. What is Pisces' overall energy? Whoa. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. Clarify two more, please. Let's clarify one more, please. Whoa. Okay. We're going to go ahead and keep this one because it popped out as well. And what is the energy surrounding Pisces? Energy surrounding Pisces or the person surrounding Pisces? Clarify, please. Clarify. One more, please. Okay. So what we have is Ace of Cups for your overall energy. Ace of Cups is a new beginning. This could have a lot to do with emotions here. A lot of emotions are, are, are surrounding you. Pisces, you're in your emotions as well. Of course, you're a water sign, so of course that's how you are. That's how you're appearing. So you're appearing up in your, your own reading. Now, for the Ace of, uh, Ace of Cups, this can represent like a new relationship happening. A new start uh, that brings happiness um, uh, for at home or something like that. Or like a, a new beginning for you. Okay. We also have Knight of Cups. So this is like a love offering. You confessing your love to someone. Or someone coming towards you confessing love. And it's coming pretty fast as well. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Now this is like a dependable, reliable type of situation. So this could be finances coming in. Now, this Knight of Pentacles is one of the slower uh, nights, okay? They, it's not going to come in super fast or, 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 or like rush up on you. You may not even see it coming in because it's kind of taking its time, all right? And then we also have the Two of Wands here. Two of Wands can represent partnership. This can also represent choosing a path. So you could be deciding which path to choose. Do you go left? Do you go right? Do you go over to this job? Do I go to this job? Do I build this business or create this magazine? You know, whatever whatever it is that's that's coming up for you here. Okay? Do I make this video or, or, or make this video, you know? So it looks like we do have love coming in. We have money offering coming in. We have some type of partnership. This could be partnership in work. This could be partnership in love. Uh, this could be partnership in a friendship, okay, a business. We also have the Page of Pentacles, which is the last card that popped out. This is the additional card. So this is telling me that the financial situation is something you're not very sure of. And this insurance could be coming, again, because it's a slow, um, gradual type of thing, but it's something that's very reliable that's going to last for you for a lifetime, okay? Let's see, the energy surrounding you is Four of Swords. Now, this could be you needing a break, all right? This could be a person that's surrounding you taking a break from you. So you could be going through some type of breakup or something like that, taking a break from a situation here with the Four of Swords, um, needing rest, okay, as well. The Eight of Cups tells me that um, someone either has walked away from you or you have walked away from them with the Eight of Cups. This is leaving the emotions behind and kind of going on with your path and moving towards something. So you could have definitely walked away from some um, a relationship or a person that you cared about and that you were emotionally connected to. And the emperor, this is stability. This is um, this is uh, uh, the type of person that has a lot of control in their life. Sometimes could be overly controlling as well. But this person has a lot of stability, is focused on stability. Someone that um, is like a they have like the management type of uh, energy. They're very good at, at uh, management. Uh, they're very ambitious. They could be like an authority figure, uh, could work in like uh, be a lawyer or a police officer or something like that as well. This could be a manager in, in, in 
in several different ways. Someone that's in control, very in control of their finances. Someone that's good at building businesses, creating new ideas. Um, this person is a very, a, has a, a lot of drive to achieve certain things. So with the Queen of Pentacles appearing here, this is telling me that stability is on your mind. Stability and, and worthiness is something that is available for you. Okay, again, this could be you or this could be the other person here. This could be the energy surrounding you, all right? So this Queen of Pentacles is a very um, a very uh, nurturing person. They're very practical, okay? They think things out. They're like, okay, you know what? You know, if this isn't going to work, then we just need to let it go. You know, they're, they're the type of pe person that's very realistic, you know? They, they don't really live in like the dreamland right they they know what it takes to make something happen okay they they can tell if if it's not going to work it's not going to work if it is going to work okay i'm going to put forth the effort and the commitment to make it work that's the type of person they are so now with the emotions here this is telling me i'm not sure if you might have walked away from someone here you know what before i go any further, let me do the romance cards and we'll find out let's dive a little deeper here Clarify the love and relationship energy for Pisces. One more, please. Clarify love and energy. Okay, so we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is telling me that, again, with the two of wands here, this is a path. You could have left someone behind, okay? You definitely could have left somebody behind. You could have been making a decision of uh, who you want to be with. Who you would, uh, who you want to confess your love with, who you see as someone you could um, create happiness with here, okay? With the honeymoon stage, this could be a, a new person, and then with the very soon, maybe you were messing with two people, okay? With this part, with the two of, and the only reason I say that is because of the two of one. So maybe you had two people, you had to decide who you want to be with. Like maybe you were with someone for a long time. And then you were you met this new person and like they started bringing in these new feelings, new emotions for you that you haven't felt in a while here. Let's clarify the energy surrounding you as far as loving relationships. Clarify the energy surrounding you as far as loving relationships. Clarify the energy surrounding you. As you. Okay. And then on the bottom, finances and career. Financial issues are a favor. I mean, a factor in your love life right now. My bad favor. What the way? So we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. So what this is telling me is that with this break here, the fourth wands break, the eight of cups walking away from someone. I don't know if you... Maybe with this engagement, maybe you've decided to make that leap and, and, and become engaged with someone. And with that being done, you're having to let go of the second person in your life. Maybe you realized how valuable this person is to you, Pisces. And that's why you are going forward with this person. And then we have the healing family issues. Maybe you've dealt with um, things in the past here with the emperor, uh, with controlling things in the past, like controlling what, what's going on with your life, who's all in your life, and things like that. The Eight of Cups is telling me you could have left behind something or someone that you were emotionally connected to. Maybe it was like a person that, I don't know, didn't accept the engagement, okay? It could have been a family member that wasn't, approve, uh, wasn't approving you of the marriage or the engagement here. Let's see. Let's find out what the outcome is here. What is the outcome of these two energies here? Mm. One flipped over a stamp. One more, please. Clarify the outcome. One more, please. Clarify the outcome. So we have Eight of Pentacles and Six of Swords. So this is telling me that you're working towards something. You're focusing on something here. Eight of Pentacles. This could be finances. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> had a cough there. This could be finances. Uh, this could be growth. This could be starting a new business here. Six of Swords is like a movement here. So this could be you moving towards something. This could be you maybe you having to go overseas and work because a lot of times it's having to do with traveling over water. 
This could be you moving to a new home, new, moving to a new house. This could be you like working online with some people overseas, okay? Maybe you're doing like that Amazon uh, selling thing where you have to get online, find the product you need, and they have to ship it to you across seas to get to you, and then you sell it online on Amazon. It could be something like that. But this is definitely movement, moving forward. This would be you moving forward with an engagement or um, a marriage or something like that as well. Let's see. What is the advice or clarity that you would like to give? What's the advice or clarity that you would The heart chakra. You are following your heart. You are following your emotions. Okay. With the eight of cups. I mean the knight of cups here. You're finally confessing your love. The ace of cups that is... That is the uh, overall energy as well. You are following your heart. It's like, you I don't know if you've had a wake-up call or whatever it is, but it's like, oh, I really love this person. I know I want to be with this person. This is who I want to be with. This is who I deserve to be with. And I want to be with them, and I want to give them everything that they deserve. So it's like you've had a wake-up call, and you just want to prove to this person that you care about them, that you love them. You could be moving to be closer with them as well. Um... But I see you definitely focusing on the love and the heart here. But that is what I have for you. I hope that you can uh, relate to this reading here that was kind of kind of deep here. <laughs> um, guys, again, I'm also, don't forget guys, I'm doing the, the drawing here on October 23rd for the Good Tarot deck. If you're interested, uh, look below the video. Also, I share all of my links with the type of cards that I use in my readings if you're interested. I do have affiliate links down below. And guys, I want to thank you so, so, so much for supporting and watching my videos and supporting my channel. You guys have no idea. I, I thank you guys and love you guys so, so, so much for that. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.